Yeah, this is the start of this episode. I actually had a bug that just happened, and it. Yeah, oh god, shush! Intro here! Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> Dragons these days, they just don't have any manas. Yeah, this is the second time I've had to fight him, and I didn't even die, which is the sad part. It just wouldn't load anything. It's weird. But now I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him this time. After this sequence, of course. I'm not sure how long this episode will be, and I might actually keep some of the old parts, so I'm not quite sure. But, eh, I'm sure I'll finish this on the 21st episode. I have to. It's not that I don't like Dragon Age. I really like Dragon Age. It's my favorite game, or one of them. Definitely my favorite on the PS4. As the, at this point, I shall wear your ears as a trophy when this is done, Rafa. Oh, no talking to me. Ha! <laughs> I won't let it, him wear your ears like a trophy. I should be able to get him down to about half in this battle. There. Wow, that was instant. Looks like it would hurt. Forgot that I had to fight the Red Lyrium Dragon. Ugh. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it, Dad. I think Ice is the most damaging. That's awesome. Ow! Thought I'm a chicken. No okay. man. I should be able to kill this guy fairly quickly. It's only a dragon. It's nothing big for me. I can kill anything that you can kill, but I don't know. I'm gonna kill it until it's dead. Killed so many times. I think it's. I do not want to see its ass. I wonder. Oh God. Holy. Oh, no! I am doing in the thousands! That means soul is immensely- Oh, it was just the armor. I wonder how much these do per battle. Oh, gosh. I can hurt you with my spirit sword. Oh, because it's fade attacking. You must be weak against the fade for some reason. Oh, cause he's not. I'm not gonna look too into it. But I know I'm doing crap tons of damage. And uh, not in the face. <laughs> Fire hurt. That won't take me that long to get through. Now, what I do in the thousands, taking like full bars at a time. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 
Maybe it's because I'm attacking from the back. I don't know, I'm not doing as much damage. So I thought it was with this. You are a nugget. That's what you are. Attack! Yeah! I'm just gonna take it down. He's gonna hurt me. He's gonna hurt me. There. 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 God, I'm glad I got this ability. Oh, it's so cool having a sword made of spirit essence. That's exactly what it's made out of. Yeah, la, 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 la. Oh, in the face. All of that. Eh, eh. Immune, immune. Huh. Uh oh. I know this is gonna hurt, but I wanna kill him quick. Oh, maybe it didn't hurt as much. I was expecting something else to happen. Ah. You know, your armor is quite out uh, annoying. Thank you, magic armor. Eh. Ow, yeah. Eh. I don't know why I just attacked a dragon with fire. Especially when that brings red lyrium! That's it! Lyrium is weak to no no. I'm gonna kill it, that's all I know. Yeah. Eh. Woo! Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be red to sunder! Now he's trapped in one body so I can get him. Please be a supply catch somewhere. I need it more than you. Sorry, Cassandra! You have armor! I I'm sorry! Supply catch? Supply catch, please! I'm asking you nicely! There we go, thank god. Alright, now we can do this with confidence. The breach is getting bigger! He's really doing it! We have to stop him! How much damage does this do to you? Less than the dragon. Especially what I could do. Not as much as I thought there. Huh. That sword actually does a lot of damage. I didn't really realize that. I wonder what does more damage to you, though. That does a lot. I like how I'm playing with him. Ugh. Not really. But it's a fun battle. One of the longest ones in this game, or it is the longest one. I can't think of a single one that's longer when you verse one guy. Two people, I guess, if you count the dragon, but that's still the same person. Technically speaking. And we're gonna use this. Ha! 
being an arch demon and all that hurts like a bitch, I bet. Look at his health go woo down! Yeah, that took out like a fourth of his health right there. That's awesome. Really wish I got another chance to use it. I am an attack mage! Ow. Ouch. Whole health bar right there. Oh my gosh. What? I took that. Oh, is it because I almost fell off the ledge? I can see that being it. Ouch. Not like this. I have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Do not, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus? The orb. Are you sure? We could take the pieces, try to... That would not recover what has been lost. Inquisitor, are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And you managed not to kill yourself. That's something. And it seems the breach is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold.
A moment, my lady. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. Oh, <laughs> now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Alright, this is actually not entirely the end. There's still a lot of stuff to do after this point. So much to do. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. Shane, it couldn't be for everyone, Corypheus sack hurt. <laughs> I suppose that would be everyone. Yeah. Imagine the line for drinks. Anyway, shake every hand, Lady Herald of Andraste. You're why they're here. Andraste's whatever couldn't have done any of this without you. Well, I could have, but it wouldn't <laughs> have been half as fun. Fun? You're a loony. My loony. Hurry up with the others. I'll show you something else you can't do without me. Me? Haha. <laughs> do me without me? Just hurry up. <laughs> that was actually really funny. Uh, is there anybody else I really want to talk to? Well, okay, it's auto saving, but I want to save just in case I want to come back here. I just want to, just want to point this out. There was like 60 hours in this save. It's a lot of hours. We're going back to my quarters. Hey, you. Told you I wasn't done with you. Think you can sneak away? We're going upstairs, everybody. We'll be a while. Might need some warm up. Not much. Honey tongue. Still you, yeah? I mean, they still say things about you. All that Herald stuff. But this feels really good. Like it always could. I just need you to stay you. As if I'd risk making you angry. I saved the world, but I'm not crazy. Honey tongue, you. It's pretty, yeah? We did that. Let's push the bed off the balcony. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, the elven resistance pacified, but it is said Gaspar yet plots his return from exile. 
How long before the Empress missteps and he raises banners once more? This fear hounds her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Stroud is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She does not fight them, and it is not long before the Chantry's fractures threaten to tear it apart forever. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, it has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. And this is again not really the ending. There's so much more missions and stuff you could do that you didn't may have not done before you could put hundreds of hours into this game and still really enjoy it the story is just so in deep and depth and fun and enjoyable and oh i haven't mentioned yet this is actually the second time i've played it and beaten it all the way through with completely different characters the first time i was a human male rogue this time i'm a female elf mage you know completely different roles mages are kind of fun because they well they're directly into the story or no they're pretty much the most in-depth character because they have they're directly implemented by the story and they have so many different options to do in the story it's the rogue actually does too because the rogue starts with a lot of different underground knowledge that nobody else really does so each one is completely different to play and each playthrough is going to be completely different because there's so many different options and the options actually start implementing in Dragon Age Origins, the first ever Dragon Age. Decisions you do in that game actually could implement this game, which is an amazing concept that three games down the line, if you count the second Dragon Age Origins Awakening, as a separate game, which it almost really is, because it adds like 60 hours of gameplay to the original, like 
30, maybe 40 tops. Making it an amazingly fun game. Dragon Age 2 is probably one of my favorite. And it's probably Inquisition and then Dragon Age Origins is last. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. I loved all of these games. I'm hugely into story-driven games. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. Or maybe this is the first time, which I would love to see you guys again if it's the first time you ever watched any of my videos. I really appreciate that like as well. It always is amazing to see those pump up. All the likes I get are amazing. I love seeing them. It's the best. There's a lot of people that went into this. You can tell that this took a long time to make. This is probably my favorite game on the PS4 so far. I'm sure that another one will pop up. And I just started playing Origins today. I don't see that implemented you know, probably days before this comes out. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that. And that one will continue even though this one's done on 21 episodes, making it the longest game I've played so far. And it's the most fun I've had. Really enjoyed this game. I love the fact that they brought Hawk back too. Famous from the other two games. He was a lot of fun to talk to. I'm pretty sure he was a mage. 100% sure he was a mage actually. And mine. And the one previous. Maybe he is a warrior sometimes? I don't know. I've heard different stories about that. Jeez. So many cut or people went into this. I just want to see the cutscenes at the end. I can't remember if there is any more. But look at all these people. Skip. Oops. Done. I accidentally pushed the skip button. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. And that is a huge thing that just happened there. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to make at least one DLC to this. Hopefully like a whole new game that involves Solus as the bad guy. That would literally make me so excited to be alive. I would love the world again. The world would be loved. I want to see... I'll check my bed in a little bit to see if it's still there because I have no idea. But yeah, for now, I think I'm going to end this. Unless, like, there's a huge cutscene here, which, doubt it. Because I already finished the game. Hey. But, peace out, Harbinarist. Nice. Well, hello there, how you doing? So we have officially gotten all the puzzle pieces now. I WILL GET YOU IF IT KILLS YOU! WHY DID YOU HATE ME?! WHY DID YOU HATE ME?! Thank you everybody for 
watching all of the 21 episodes of Dragon Age. It was one of my favorite series, and it still is going to be for a very long time on the PS4. So I would be amazing if you like, commented, and even subscribed. That would be the best thing you've ever done for me. So thank you. Bye-bye.